washing my bag because that's very interesting to find out okay so this is my bag I know what you're thinking it's very boring it's just a standard black bag it's actually probably the first black bag I've ever had probably um, it's just simple yet effective I wanted a um, a stiffer bag you know ones that just stand up stand up on their own um, because I was just sick of it flopping around you know so um yeah so obviously there's a little zip here and then inside it's like a nice little compartment in the middle for stuff should we see what's in the zip first of all cool pattern in it as well. A lot of rubbish. <laughs> so we have um a Nivea lip thing, which I actually forgot I had. Watermelon shine. It does really smell. Mmm, nice. So there's that. And we have another one. Sierra Bees. Shea butter and argan oil. Lovely. And then we have one Kirby grip or what do people call these? I don't know. One of these things. Um it's a hairband that is supposed to stop your hair getting that crinkle in it, but um, that's a load of shit really, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. And a little purse. This is what I actually kept my grips in. So that one should just go in there, shouldn't it really? Oh, the thing's gone off it. The clasp. Anyway, so there's that. Isn't that nice? I have um, a whole set of these. Like maybe five of them all together, different colours. Quite nice. And also, randomly, just um, a jelly baby, which I'm actually really tempted to eat, but I think it's been in there for a while. And a mint imperial, which has also probably been in there for quite some time. Oh, we get strangled. Okay. And stuff them back in here. Actually, let's keep the sweets out so I can chuck them away. Because I'll put that on there. Okay, what do we have next? So in my little middle <laughs> zip, which I never actually go in, so it's a waste of time really. Nothing but a pen. Um, and my mirror, which I actually forgot was in there. Somehow, um, hiya, somehow it's got dust in it. I think it's probably just bits of crap from, 
random things in my bag, but did you know a group of raccoons is called a gaze? Did you know? <laughs> then <laughs> in the little inside zip pocket there's just a few lady bits in there my phone's fallen in there as well that's not part of that sec section okay but yeah there's you know lady things so <laughs> and then we have couple of other pockets which haven't got anything in. Then in the main compartments we have scarf. Paisley. It's quite nice isn't it? Um, I can't remember where I got this from. I think I... did I get this on holiday? Did I have this in my holiday haul? Does anyone know? I might have done. 100% Pashmina JS Ondo I think I did This is the most recent scarf I've got I think Oh, then I have loads of receipts Where did I get this from? Summer in Norwich, I think that's gone. Sundown, Reload, Norwich Comedy Festival, 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 C uh, Great Outdoor Cinema Club, they're playing E.T., The Lost Boys, Dirty Dancing. Missed that though, didn't I? I mean, they might as well just be thrown away, but whatever. Um, what else have I got? Oh, look! More receipts. Um. Oh, God. 3D glasses from um, when we went to see. Oh, my God, they're bent. Oh, no. I've done it now, haven't I? Going to see um, Thor Ragnarok cover ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. IMAX. Oh, f oh fudgy then. Now I'm like really edgy and stuff. So. They're a good size. Okay. So pissing expensive going to the cinema. I guess it depends where you go, but... Anyone knows the Odeon in Norwich? It's just... Bloody ridiculous. No wonder why people pirate, do you know what I mean? Um... A straw? Because you never know, really, do you? You never know. And then we have more receipts, but... Ugh, crumbs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys. I don't know if I can... It's got hair on it. Straight in the bin. It's stuck to the bottom of my bag. And all my receipts were also stuck to it. Look at that. That's just a disgrace. 
A lot of bad things always happen to good people. Well, I'm glad I did this video so I could find that, I guess. Okay, then we have, um, that could probably be thrown in the bin as well. Strawberry laces. They did a, uh, blue one. Uh, what was that again? Bubble gum. That's the one. The bubble gum is like so nice. It's amazing. Aloe vera hand gel. Um, I like to have hand gel in my bag in case there's a situation where it's like you have to be waiting for ages to wash your hands if it's busy or you just can't be bothered or. It's one of the things where you wash your hands and then you touch the door to get out and actually you realise that everyone's disgusting and you'll probably have to go back and wash your hands again anyway. So you might as well wait to get out and then wash and then use this. But then I'm contributing to the problem because I'm touching the door with dirty hands as well. But actually, I usually use this before I leave. But then you could use it after you have left as well. Hmm, cool story. So that's nice. More seats. I think I'm done with that side. I have my phone. Check that out, right? Check that out. And my nice little case on the back. I think I showed you this already. But yeah, that's my phone. It's the Samsung J5. Because I'm not really into all that, like, buy the latest and greatest um, thing. Because it's a waste of time and money. Right, okay. Oh, I have another hand gel bit obsessed but there you go this is um cuticura um passion flower and mango okay sure um then we have my glasses french connection these are the ones that i used in my receptionist role play Oh no, sorry, it's real. Um, this is what Darcy stole off me to use. Okay. I know, I have two pairs of glasses because it was buy one, get one free. And I don't wear these very often as my, or as often I should say, as my super dry ones I got. Because these hurt me around the ears. Only on this side. Even though I had them adjusted and all the rest of it, it just doesn't really help. But yeah, why won't get one free is good, isn't it, really? I mean, they're so expensive glasses. So, you know what I'm saying? What else we got in here? Oh yeah, we've got the handle that the bag comes with. This is a bit, looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> um, just got a jar of Vaseline in there. So, yeah. I think this is when I had really dry skin. Um, a while ago and I literally just bought this because obviously it's cheap and I have enough uh, lip stuff anyway so I just bought this and uh, yeah that literally smells of nothing I can't can you smell I can't smell anything in that no oh, no I can if I literally stick my nose on it but so yeah that's a bit <laughs> okay, then I have, oh god, 
more Vaseline. Something's been on that. Look how mushed up that is. Someone's used it. Do you know I um I have some hair like waxy stuff in a little jar like that but bigger. Um I left that in the toilets at work once upon a time. Came back to it. And someone had like taken a chunk out of it. And I thought, okay, fair enough if you want to try it out, see what it's like, but why would you be so aggressive to take so much out? Like literally just do that, okay? And you don't have to stick your, you know, finger right in there, do you? <laughs> so, people, eh? People. I think that's it. Oh my crap. Just receipts upon receipts and my purse. It's the Moomins. See? The little Moomin thingy. Um, I do like these. These are from um, littlemoose.com I think. Um, I think they're by Disaster Designs. What an absolute disaster. Yeah, let me just show you the numbers on my cards and I'll show you my address on my driver's license as well. <laughs> okay, so I've got, oh, have I got anything on this? I've got a new look card. People are so noisy in this house. Um, uh, so I might, I don't know, I think I might, I've got two in here, two new look cards. So, you know, might have, might have money on there still. Um, I have a tempo note. Okay, so I work in retail. And if one more person says to me, oh, I hate these blooming things, they'd like Monopoly money. <laughs> I'll shove it down their throat, right? I'm sick of it. Yeah, I get it. They're plastic. But they are the same as the £5 notes that have been out for a while now. And whoever is singing in the background in this house, please don't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... The, the, it's, 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 it's money, okay? It's money, all right? There's nothing you can do about it, okay? They ain't gonna stop producing them just because you've said, oh, I hate these things, so refrain, okay? Because I just can't abide anymore, okay? Abide, is that the right, abide? What does that even mean? I don't know. Oh, all these in here as well. Nando's never go there really. Holland and Barrett also never go there. Um, <sighs> dentist appointment card. Lovely. So, yeah, just, you know, get over it really. The new tempo note. Although what did annoy me was that changeover from using the old pound coins to the new ones because a lot of, because there was a point where you would only be given new one pound coins, not old ones, but some, focus, but a lot of machines would only take the new ones. No, that is incorrect. Oh no, it's gone. Um... A lot of the machines, I've lost that in there forever now, would only take the old ones and people would be coming and saying, can you just give me like a tenner's worth of old ones because the machine down the road, car park machine, I don't accept it. So like, 
I don't know why I have to do that accent every time because people around here they talk like this mostly so I don't know what I'm talking about boy tracker 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 so yeah um where's that gone then there it is so yeah um that was annoying but now the old ones are out of circulation don't know if there are any like Americans or foreign people who want to see what these look like properly Americans or foreign people so racist foreign people I should say foreign to me whatever they're amazing aren't they great love it um yeah all this money change it's so funny when you hear the older people sort of really make a fuss about like I remember giving them an older person a I think it was one of the five pound ones they were like what's this is this real yeah love it's the new five pen oh pardon me it's the new five pen note love hey right I don't like that have you got one of the old ones I mean I have but at the end of the day love you're gonna have to get over it because that's all we're gonna be giving out soon so you know <laughs> that's how I talk to people it's not how I talk to people but so yeah it's like we they just can't accept change haha <laughs> get it change yeah so I mean it is sometimes frustrating because in self-service machines in supermarkets and stuff I've noticed that um trying to use oh god I look at like anyway trying to use a um a crinkled tenner or fiver like a folded one a new plastic one it won't go in it won't accept it so I get that but you know anyway um oh put that back eh I hope you like that anyway um I know my videos aren't really particularly that asmr -y. sometimes I don't sort of focus loads on the those videos are nice once in a while but um you know so as in I like watching those videos once in a while and I like making those videos once in a while but I personally have taken a break from watching asmr because a lot of people's videos are very and that doesn't really work on me I prefer the unintentional slash intentional but not overpowering kind of really you know like um who who did that video of that young girl the ginger girl who was a fan and she came in and did a video of using a brush on the ears was that psych truth or who who was someone like that because it's a child doing it she's so unaware of what she's doing do you know what i mean like she's so um is clumsy the word i don't know like she's so not being careful which is what makes the tingles in my brain happen even more because she's being harsh basically so you know i prefer that kind of thing so <laughs> um i mean i do like to do really asmr videos every now and then um, but I prefer to do videos like this where it's concentrating on my voice and then doing normal things because we'll have to remember ASMR, our first experiences for most of us of ASMR came from 
places where it wasn't purposefully being ASMR. I think my first ASMR experience, well, that I remember and I'm just kind of making it up, was um, someone just sweeping a broom along the floor. Or someone scratching scratch cards, that does it for me as well. But they're not doing it on purpose. In fact, most of them are being really harsh. You know? Whereas if, like, whereas I looked up ASMR videos of people doing it, it just didn't work because they were very... And like, yeah, it's just not how I like it. It's not how I like my scratch cards to be scratched. Okay, so, anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, every now and then I, I, I like to do really, maybe next time I'll do a really kind of, really, you know, mm, just a bit difficult sometimes because I've kind of lost the space a little bit in the unit that I had because one of my brothers has now, he basically had three units which was a tile showroom and he has now got rid of all of them so suddenly he's got all this stuff that needs to be put somewhere and my other brother was like well put your stuff in my unit so I go down there the other day not to film but I just go down there with my brother and I'm like alright so where my filming station is there is a door just propped up on there boxes of tiles there's a shower screen shower door yeah it was a shower door not like a front door um so it's like shower doors and um cool <laughs> um not like i went down there a lot anyway but if i want a day of just really concentrating on it then i like to go down there um but for the past few days, I have had the shit. Um, I've had the shit. So, I haven't really... Uh, and it came to today, and I've just got better from it. I thought, oh my god, I have to make a video for tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm working, so I don't really have time. So, well, I mean, I would have time in the morning, but... I want to clean out my fishies because I didn't do them over the weekend because I was shitty, shitty. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. I don't know where that came from. Just suddenly, ill, hot, chill, shitty. And I don't know. I braved it and went up Norwich today, thinking I was going to have an incident, but I didn't. Thank God for that, hey? Anyway, nice conversation. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm going to go now. My lip hurts as well. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Oh, when I do that, my wrist clicks. Ugh.